You're listening to the American Democracy Minute, keeping your government buy-in for the people. Notable court cases brought by Arizona election deniers during and after the 2022 midterms have had decisions in the last few weeks. It didn't go well for the election deniers. KJZZ reports that last month, a federal court ordered the legal team for former gubernatorial candidate and Trump acolyte Carrie Lake to pay $122,000 in sanctions. The judge found that Lake's lawyers had made false claims in a frivolous lawsuit attempting to block the use of ballot tabulation machines in the November 2022 elections. Most of the case was dismissed in August of 2022 and the final claim in December. Another of Lake's cases, which claimed irregularities in Maricopa County, was also dismissed as baseless earlier this year. Sanctions were requested by the county attorney, but waived by the judge. Lake's not done, however. July 14th, she appealed the Maricopa County decision to the Arizona Supreme Court. Then last week, fellow Arizona election denier and former candidate for Secretary of State Mark Fincham dropped his appeal of his midterm loss, but not the appeal of the $48,000 in sanctions for pursuing a case with no legal merit. We have links to the great local reporting on these cases at AmericanDemocracyMinute.org. For the American Democracy Minute, I'm Brian Beal. Find us on Facebook at American Democracy Minute.